it feels like an honest like fashion hunger games whenever I go into the thrift store and I see these Depop sellers. <laughs> and in today's video I'm going to be shopping my dream wardrobe to get me started on leveling up my personal style and throughout this video I'm going to be sharing tips on cost-effective ways that you can level up your personal style and shop your dream wardrobe I'm also going to be taking you both thrifting and online shopping with me so let's get started. The very first thing that you want to do is to create two mood boards and both of these mood boards can be made on either Pinterest or Instagram. I create mood boards on both of them because just there's more to see and sometimes it's easier to find items that you want to buy on Instagram rather than Pinterest you have to go through so many links. The very first mood board that you want to create is one that has all of the fabrics, colors, textures, patterns that you love. And then the second mood board is going to be people who you consider your style inspiration. For example, my top three people I would say would be Bella Hadid, Solange Knowles, and of course Rihanna. We can't talk fashion without talking about Rihanna. That's in no particular order and I actually have about a list of like 15 to 25 people who I would consider style inspiration and even people who I film in my what people are wearing in Montreal videos have become part of my style inspiration. When I see something I'm gonna make sure that I pin it to my mood board and I constantly go back to take a peek through my mood board. If I'm shopping I will have it at the back of my mind that this is an item that I really love or this is a vibe that I'm really feeling and then subconsciously I'll just purchase the item and all will be well. Now on to taking you thrifting and online shopping with me. I actually found a really good selection of items. I was kind of aiming to spend around $115 for how many items is that? Two, four, wait. <laughs> Let me count it. I actually realized I purchased 11 items because the dress that I'm wearing has been on my mood board for a really long time. The dress costs around 350 euros. I definitely was trying to find a cost effective dupe of it. And I came across a Australian company called Pepper Mayo and I really love it. They have so many items that are affordable and they have a huge color range. So I highly suggest checking that out. One thing that I did notice with Pepper Mayo is the duties and taxes can get really crazy if you spend over $100 on the website. It cost um, 49 AUD, which in Canadian dollars, that comes out to $44.98. Next thing that I found on Pinterest that I really loved are these black sheer, like semi sheer dresses as you can see and it's so cute if you wear it with a little black bandeau or a tiny black thong that you can kind of see like a little bit of body a little bit of shape curve and just based on my skin tone and if you're someone of a deeper complexion you actually don't have to wear a bandeau or bra because you're not going to see any of your goodies i saw it on this model here this brand that i purchased it from is Lioness. You can find that on Instagram. It's also an Australian brand, but I didn't have to pay any of the conversion fees or the duties and taxes because I bought it from a store called Editorial here in Montreal. They sell a lot of Lioness and they sell like Dickies, they sell like Adidas, everything like that. And a lot of brands on Instagram that generally you can't get a hold of, you can find at Editorial Boutique. So I really love that store and I highly suggest checking that out. The next thing is this zebra print dress. Now this is really stepping out of my comfort zone and I would think that wearing a semi sheer dress would be stepping out of my comfort zone, but no. When it comes to prints, well, animal prints, I definitely have a strong opinion. I'm someone who does not like cheetah print, for example. I don't know if that's shady for me to say that, but like it's just very much going on a safari. But I wanna try it. I was inspired by this top. It's absolutely beautiful. I might end up returning this dress and then getting this top in euros. 
why is everything priced in euros? I've even seen Canadian fashion companies price their items in euros. Like what the f this dress was from a company called Tiger Mist. And if you're someone who's looking for a discount, then I highly suggest signing up for their subscription. It's just like a first time email subscription. Also, if you just Google like Tiger Mist discounts, then you can find all of these links to about 10 to 15% off. I will say some of these links do cause viruses. So I'm not actually going to link some of the websites that I've used because I'm not trying to have people at me because they have a virus on their computer. If you're really desperate for a discount, then definitely search that up and you can find one. I would recommend using the discounts that have been most used. It'll say like 500 people use this discount in the past week or like 50 people use this discount today. And then there will be some discounts that will say like, you get $100 off on a $50 product, like that's when you know that link is definitely going to cause a virus to your computer or maybe like, who knows, hack into your bank account. Oh, end of season discounts are so on point because the end of season discounts are really good if you're shopping for shoes or purses, especially accessories, because those are something that you can wear all year round. The next thing that I got from Tiger Mist is this top, I think, it is absolutely stunning. I love this cut. Who inspired me to get this top was my mom because she wears so much red and red is something that I never wear. In a discount, I was able to get this Amaria top for $25. I realized I got one more thing from Tiger Mist and that is the Paisley pants. I've had these on my Pinterest board for so long. Not these specific ones, but I actually had a pair of pants from Lisa Says Ga, and just this print in general. I knew that if I went thrifting, I would definitely be able to find this print, but when I went to Renaissance and Value Village, I found really tacky colors, as well as a lot of summer colors, and that felt kind of unnecessary considering we're going into winter now. So I came across this pant and it's called the Teddy Pant. I actually was under the impression that these were going to be denim, but they are cotton and they're quite stretchy, which I don't mind because the pants can grow with me. But I, to be honest, <laughs> I would have preferred if they were denim just because it would have added to almost the quality of them. Unfortunately, I, couldn't get these specific pants because they were sold out and I didn't know when they were about to restock and the teddy pant was restocking a lot more often and I got a really dope discount. It's time to move on to the items that I thrifted. Again, with this print, I ended up going to a closet sale and one thing that's really nice about living in Montreal is a lot of people have closet sales, garage sales that are all along the city and I was able to come across this one. The fabric is kind of itchy, but I have the full intention of doing really nice layering with this, so I'm not mad. I was able to get this for $10, which was a super sweet deal. The next thing that I got from Closet Sale are these white leather pants. They're kind of baggy. They were low rise in the beginning, but now they're high waisted. <laughs> and you know, because I'd be eating real good. They did have a bit of damage at the bottom, like they were really loose and falling apart, but I was able to sew those and now they're perfect. So for $25 for vegan leather, I was like, this is actually really, really good. The next items that I got that were secondhand and specifically purchased from thrift stores were purses. I went to the Renaissance and Value Village on Pinouf. The purse selection was doing real well. On my Pinterest board, I had tiny little purses like this. I like to take these little purses out to dinner. There's not a lot of space. Actually, this is like pretty good on space. I can fit my phone, wallet, like lip gloss, all of that. I'm not a huge fan of these little strings. These, This looks cheap, for sure. On top of it, it was cheap. It cost $5.75. I know that I can make some really cute outfits with this, and I just like how dainty it is. The next thing I got was this little white bag. This cost $6, and the brand was is H&M. The material of the bag is definitely giving, and I wanted a bag that would match 
my pants. The last two items that I got are shoes. I came across these one pair of boots at Renaissance with a pointed toe and the leather was so, so nice, but they were size six and a half, so it like just didn't fit and it was so sad. I actually ended up going to Renaissance first because I knew that Renaissance would probably have less of a iconic selection than Value Village would. And I'm happy that I did that because when I went to Value Village, I came across the square toed Nine West black boots. These are so perfect. I would have liked a thicker heel because wearing a thin heel, it is a bit more pressure on your foot. This shoe cost $8.99, which is really good. They fit like a glove, love them so much. Didn't even have to think twice about purchasing these. I have been dying to get another pair of shoes that have multiple colors. I came across these coach shoes at Renaissance, but I didn't really know if I was feeling the light brown and black combo. It felt a little off to me. I also ended up coming across these pair of boots at Renaissance that were like a dark brown and then kind of like a medium tone brown. They kind of felt like they were too similar to the boots that I already purchased at Value Village. I was able to come across these shoes. These are definitely giving more fall, spring, and summer vibes. I was debating on these shoes so much. I spent probably like 15 minutes just like looking at them in the mirror, trying them on. What really made me purchase them is while I was thrifting, I noticed that there were like the Depop sellers in the thrift store and they're so easy to spot out. They're like looking through all the clothes, just like throwing honestly anything that is cute in no matter the size. So you can just tell who the Depop sellers are. And this individual decided to reach into my basket and pick these shoes up and she's like just looking looking around like debating whether she was gonna put them in her basket and I was like mm -mm 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 -mm. it feels like an honest like fashion hunger games whenever I go into the thrift store and I see these Depop sellers I was like chat what are you doing and they were like these are the cutest shoes ever for $5.99, I can sell these for almost $40. And I was like, okay, well, first of all, they're in my basket, so I'll put them back down. I thought to myself, would it really hurt me to spend $6 on shoes that I'm like debating? And I had enough confirmation from random strangers that these shoes were worth it. But this was the first step to shopping my dream wardrobe and leveling up my personal style. I hope you were able to take some notes and find some inspiration on some of the items that I picked. Maybe these items are something that you also want to purchase as well. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, show me love, and I will see you in my next video.